Today, I wanna to give you guys the three reasons why someone might subscribe to a YouTube channel and help you guys integrate all three of those things into your content and into your channel so that as many people are likely to subscribe to your content as possible and also help you make other informed decisions about your content. That's coming up. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and it's Thursday, which means it's time to do some YouTube Q&A with you guys. The Green Apple Home wrote and asked this. Do you think it is better to have a smaller niche or a channel with lots of stuff? My channel started out about organizing home crafts and projects. Now I am adding in pretty much anything that falls under the category of home, like cooking, household tips. Since I started homeschooling my kids, I have wanted to add more videos about that. Am I going to lose my audience because it is so broad of a channel? Do you think it would be better to do a separate homeschooling channel? That is a great Great question and there are a lot of facets and things that would go into answering that question and all the kind of different levels that it contains but let me just simply say that there are three reasons why someone would subscribe to a YouTube channel and the first one is because they're actually really interested about the niche that you are in like so for example you mentioned like cooking stuff so if you have a channel that revolves around the cooking niche and a viewer comes and finds that your channel is very valuable to them because they are also interested in cooking and they subscribe because of that they will continue watching your videos as as long as you continue to provide them with valuable information and videos about cooking. A second reason why someone might subscribe to your channel is because they actually care about you personally. And this is actually why a lot of vlogging is really popular because people start to form what's called parasocial relationships with the people that they're watching on YouTube on the other side of the screen. They feel like they actually know that person like in real life. Like they feel like they're almost hanging out with them and forming a relationship with them even though it's like it's totally not true, right? Like the person who's on YouTube has no idea idea who like the person on the other side of the screen actually even is. But nonetheless, the person who's watching your videos actually feels like they have formed like some sort of human connection with you and they care about you personally. The third reason why someone might subscribe to your channel is that maybe they actually don't really care about the niche you're in and maybe they don't even care about you personally too much either, but you share a common belief with that person and that person really values what you are all about, what you stand for, why you're doing it, and there's that common shared belief that that person like really gravitates towards. This works especially well for a lot of nonprofit organizations and cause related channels, but every channel should have some sort of belief system in place because belief systems are what most people form community around the easiest. So when it comes down to it, to answer your question, is whether or not you can get away with creating content that's really broad in scope and anything that's of interest to you really depends on why the person subscribed to your channel in the first place. If they subscribe because they were really just interested in your cooking videos or in your home organizing videos, then for you to start doing other videos that are not related to that niche, then nah, they might unsubscribe. But if they subscribe because they actually really care about you and they subscribe because they like watching your personality, or maybe you have a really strong shared belief that you articulate in your videos and that person really believes what you believe, if that's the case, then you can make almost any video in the world and your viewers will still watch it, not because of the actual topic or content you're talking about, but because they actually care about you or they actually really strongly care about what you represent as a belief. Now, ideally, your channel would have all three of those things very prevalent, right? So they actually really value the niche that you've kind of decided you're going to focus on and you're going to make content in. And then they also, like maybe after watching some of your videos, they actually really start to really care about you personally if you're actually presenting yourself in your videos in a way that is actually making that human connection really natural and easy to happen. And then third, if you state like, this is why I do what I do in all, my, in all your videos and you kind of make some sort of belief statement or claim about why you make homeschooling videos or why you make home organizing videos or cooking videos or whatever the case may be. I believe X and this is why I do this and that becomes very apparent in all your videos and then all three of those things are prevalent. Like that's what makes a channel like very easy for someone to subscribe to and also gives you the most liberty to make almost video about almost anything you want and get away with it on your channel. So I hope that makes sense. I would love to hear from the rest of you guys in the comments below about how you would answer this question and what advice you would give to the Green Apple Home and other people who are asking a similar question. The rest of you guys, make sure you go check out those comments because there is always really good stuff down there. And if this is your first time hanging out, I'd love to have you subscribe. Every Tuesday, we take a look at online video news and talk about the implications it has for us as creators. On Wednesdays, we give you guys some YouTube tips and advice and ideas. And then on Thursdays, we do YouTube Q&A just like this. Why? To give you my value proposition and belief statement is that because I really believe that a lot of you guys have messages that can potentially change the world and influence a lot of people's lives. And I want to be a part of helping you do that so you can master this platform called YouTube and spread your message so that the people who need to hear what 
you have to say can actually hear what you have to say. So thank you for letting me be a part of that. Subscribe, and I will see you guys again next week. Bye.